Hi, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks so much for joining me here on TCM for this week's edition of Musical Matinee. Each month I like to spotlight at least one lesser known movie musical, and I've got one of those today. Although the star of this film isn't lesser known at all. The movie is Ladies of the Chorus from Columbia Pictures in 1949, and the star is Marilyn Monroe. At the time, Marilyn was still a fresh face in Hollywood and was a few years away from superstardom. In fact, Ladies of the Chorus gave her the first starring role of her career. She plays Peggy Martin, a young chorus girl in a burlesque show who performs with her mother. She catches the eye of a wealthy suitor, but her mother does what she can to keep him at bay, worried that his high society family won't approve if they find out that she's a Lady of the Chorus. It's a brisk 60-minute musical that was made on a low budget and was shot in less than two weeks. But it's a fascinating entry in Marilyn Monroe's career, the first time she ever sang and danced on the big screen. This was also made before Hollywood thought of her as a sex symbol, so her mannerisms and even her voice are completely different from what you might be used to seeing in a Marilyn Monroe movie. Four years later, Marilyn would skyrocket to stardom playing another showgirl in a much bigger movie musical, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. But here she is, still at the very beginning of her career, co-starring Adele Jurgens, who, as you'll see, is top build, and also with Rand Brooks and Nana Bryant from 1949, Ladies of the Chorus. That was Rand Brooks as Marilyn Monroe's leading man. A decade earlier, he gave his most famous performance as Scarlett O'Hara's first husband, Charles Hamilton, in Gone with the Wind. As for Marilyn Monroe, her career was only just getting started when she made this film in 1949, and she was billed behind the woman who played her mother, Adele Jurgens. Still, she worked hard to make an impact in this movie, and some critics began to take note. One reviewer wrote, One of the bright spots is Miss Monroe's singing. She is pretty, and with her pleasing voice and style, she shows promise. Unfortunately, the studio that produced this film, Columbia Pictures, didn't see much promise in their young starlet, and soon after the movie premiered, Columbia dropped her contract. Thankfully, there were others in Hollywood who weren't as quick to give up on her. And the following year, she gave memorable performances in two films that helped elevate her status in the industry, The Asphalt Jungle and All About Eve. By the end of 1950, she was under contract to 20th Century Fox, where her career finally took off. Up next, another movie musical released in 1946, starring Bob Hope, Bing Crosby, and Dorothy L'Amour. Next on TCM, Road to Utopia, then Lily, and later, A Christmas Carol. Tis the season on TCM Today.